Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Game of Thrones, Season 6, Episode number 2, Home. In this episode here, you have a whole lot of things going on. It's very, very busy. In this episode right here, you have um Tyrone and Varys. They're going to, uh, they're going to, well, Tyrone has the idea to free the dragons. Yeah, he went against the dragons on his side. He can use the dragons, then he can probably take down the enemies that are trying to, that are after, that are after them. So the first thing he has to do first is get their trust. And he, he, he has a little mission right here, which was very funny to watch because watching um, Tyrone, um, going down there, he was brave. He was, I'm not saying, he was, he was a brave man going down with these dragons who don't know who he is. Who might try to eat him, but they managed to actually listen to him and trust him, which was quite amazing. But watching um, various um, watching him from afar was just funny to me because he wasn't that brave. He was like this: "You got this, man. I'll support. I'll, I'll support you, but I'll support you from a distance. I'll stay back here where it's safe, and you go free the dragons. I'll, I'll just watch. I'm here for you, man. I'll just be in the back." Way in the back, while you talk to the dragons and stuff, and you be nicey, nicey with them. Yeah. And then you have um, Jamie Lannister and Cersei, and their their and their son. Um, they pretty much going to the funeral of um their daughter, but but um Cersei has been, uh, wasn't invited. She couldn't go. She got she was pissed off about that. She was mad at her son about this, but he's trying to keep her safe. And he's also ashamed of himself for not being man enough to, to protect her and protect his wife and to protect anybody, really. He's, he's the weakling. Yeah, he has that going on. And then you have um, um, Davos and um, um, Termont. These people's names are messing me up. But anyway, you have them um, pretty much still mourning over um, Jon Snow. And he and, and he go pretty much goes he goes to the, the red woman to say, Hey, you have powers. Can you bring him back? Can you bring Jon Snow back from the dead? And she says, I don't I don't think I could do that. But if you want me to, I'll try. Because she's going through a crisis right now because she feels as though everything she believed in is a lie and all the gods and stuff that she said she put her trust into has been a lie, and she has no, she feels like she has, has a purpose anymore, she's lost, she doesn't know what to do, so she's going to try to bring back Don, Jon Snow, but she don't think it's going to work, she has no faith in herself at all, she doesn't, I don't think I'm going to do this, I think this is going to fail, it's like everything else in my life, she's having a crisis, and then you have um, Sansa, and Theon, and Brennan, they're pretty much, um, Brennan's going to be trying to take, um, Sansa back to see John Snow to take him back to the black, the black the, the wall, but because she, she doesn't know that he's dead, so she she wants to go in there to be to be safe. So he feels as though she be, she be, she go with her brother, she'll be safe there and nobody can hurt her. So Brenda's trying to take her there, and you have um um Theon, not yeah, Theon. He's he pretty much he he leaves her in this episode here. He leaves her. Like he wants to take her to her all the way, but he feels as though he won't be able to help. So he feel, so he's gonna he's gonna let her he's gonna let Brennan take over the take over the reins while he goes back home. And then you have um um Bran. He's been he's been trained by the three eyed um the, the three eyed Raven. And he's teach, he he pretty much teach him how to control his powers and control the visions that he's having. And because he, now he goes back in time and he sees his father and his uncles while, and aunt while they were living young, and he also sees um um oh crap what's his name the big guy oh crap I blinked on it but anyway he sees him and he sees him be before he got. Brain damage, I guess. And he actually can talk and say sentences other than just saying his name. Which was quite amazing. And then, you also have the crazy Ramses. This dude's insane. And you get to see just how much he loves his father and his younger brother. Oh. Wow. This boy 
has to be stopped. Somebody has to kill him. He has to die. And you have other things going on too, with like the thing with the priest and everything else, and the, and the whole iron. There's a lot. There's a lot of people in the show. There's not the names. I can't, I can't keep them all. I can't keep track of all of them. But still, there's a lot of things going on. This actually, this was a good episode here. The acting performances on the show is always amazing. So you don't worry about that. The special effects on this show are beautiful. The way they do, the way they design these dragons, look better than most movies using CGI. This is a TV show. Now, I don't know the budget on this show, but they're doing an amazing job with the detail of these dragons, and they look fantastic. Now, because I know these dragons aren't real. Dragons have never been real. They're a fantasy. But they look realistic on this show. And they had, when, when they had that scene with them, when Tion and the dragons were in the same scene, he was like freeing them from the chains. You, I, like, it, was, it was hard to tell what was fake and what was real in that, in that scene right there. Like, even though I know the dragons aren't real, they look amazing. And like I said, the acting performance on this show by all the by the whole cast is fantastic. Everybody brings the A game. That's why this show's so good. The only problem this show has is that even though a lot there's a lot of cool scenes and a lot of interesting things happen, and a lot of things that was kind of shocking and all, like, oh my goodness. But nothing's really going on yet. Not really. I mean, I mean, this show is pretty much all about the journey. So you like you have to go through the journey to get to the ending. When you when you finally get the ending, you, you you realize everything makes sense and everything that led up to this moment worked together. Like oh oh, so I like, just it's because this episode here pretty much like all led up to to the end, which was not surprising, but it was still, but it still got you excited nonetheless. This is spoiler right here. Jon Snow comes back. He he comes back from the dead, which makes perfect sense because he kind of looks like a. A rugged Jesus. He, he pretty much does. So he had to come in from the dead. Now, he, the thing, though, the question I, I have is, though, is this. Did Jon Snow come back from the dead because of the red woman? Or was he going to come back from the dead regardless of her at all? Regardless, regardless of her. Because she was trying to bring him back. She was trying to use all the magic she could. And nothing happened. Now, so was it, was it delayed? Like, it worked, but it was just delayed? Or he was going to come back... Without her, like she, she, she did nothing. He came back on his own. Is there something else involved in this? I don't know. But if you have any thoughts or theories about this, leave your comments down below. So, like I said, overall great episode. Had a whole lot of fun watching it. The acting, like I said, fantastic. Special effects, are great. Costume designs, beautiful. The way the thing is shot and the way it looks, fantastic. This is the reason why this show does so well. But with, with the ratings, because it's it's so good. Even when it's slow, it's still good. Like you like this. So, thumbs up. I highly recommend this show. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, watch Game of Thrones. Watch it. It's an amazing show. I highly recommend it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Game of Thrones. And I think that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.